there's a whole group of people who love talking about box office scores. Now, I'm not a real nerd about it, which is a shocker given what I do for a living, but I do follow it closely. Obviously, Avatar The Way of Water is this year's big story, but there's been a lot of super mega hits in the past few years. Top Gun last year, Spider-Man No Way Home, Avengers Endgame, and of course, in 2015, Star Wars The Force Awakens. And a lot of people forget just how monumentally huge that film is, and that's kind of what I briefly want to talk about today. With all of this news of The Way of Water passing Star Wars, people forget how big of a hit The Force Awakens was in North America especially. That movie was really hurt by the fact that Star Wars has lower interest overseas, but would you believe that Star Wars The Force Awakens made more money in North America than any Avengers movie, including Endgame, any Spider-Man movie, any movie in total actually. It's got the highest what's called domestic box office gross. That's gross for America and and Canada. As a comparison, Avatar The Way of Water has about 300 million less in domestic box office. The Force Awakens is 936 million, but has now passed it in worldwide gross. That speaks to the real popularity of the Star Wars brand in North America. That being said, I do also have to acknowledge that the figure is somewhat misleading. Obviously, it's a good comparison for recent movies, but unadjusted box office does not consider inflation, which is somewhat weird because it's the number that people use usually talk about. If you account for inflation, The Force Awakens drops all the way to 11. However, to be fair, many older movies were dealing with less competition not only in cinemas, but also just generally in terms of entertainment. Number one of all time is Gone with the Wind. Number two is a movie you may be familiar with, Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Episode 5 would come in at 13, two spots under The Force Awakens. Return of the Jedi is 17, Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, and I think this just does a good job of highlighting how excited people were for a new Star Wars movie. 